Okay. This is about anti-gun groups. Mainly about them advocating violence against law-abiding citizens. Now what I mean by this is there's a post going, at it, going around the internet. Now I, I don't care if this is a fake account or not. Somebody had to type this in. And they basically said if they run across somebody concealing or open carrying, they're going to pepper spray this individual, take their gun, and hold them until the police get here. And there's a few problems with that. One, you just committed felony assault. And well, when the cop gets here, they're going to arrest you. Another thing, say you do something that's fucking stupid. And you don't manage to get the, guy, the person's gun, they don't manage to keep control of it. Now, you're the one who held a gun point until the cops get there. Or even worse, they shoot you in self-defense because you went for their gun, making it basically putting their life in jeopardy. Now, there's all kinds of reasons why this is as stupid as can be. One, criminals don't open carry. Hell, I've never heard of a criminal being caught who used a damn holster. Most of them are hidden because they're paranoid that somebody's going to spot them and assume they're criminals. They walk around paranoid because they're holding a gun they're not legally allowed to own. And another thing, this is what you're advocating has already been done. Somebody saw somebody with their gun and a concealed carrier. Now, you shouldn't be able to see the gun if the guy's a concealed carrier. But they saw it. And as the guy getting to Walmart, this person tackled them screaming, gun, gun, whatever, and had the store tackle this guy. And the guy kept yelling, I have a permit. And the guy who started all this did get arrested and got now for felony assault because what he, he did was illegal. And what you're advocating is to call the police and file a false report. Now, there's a, a stupid group on Facebook called the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence. And all honestly, they should be a coalition to start violence, period. Because they're advocating people to call the cops, giving false information, and telling them there's an active shooter in the area. Now, that's a downright lie. Active shooter means they've already fired off rounds. And if you're calling simply because you saw someone with a gun, not doing it with it, holstered, then you're, again, breaking the law. Now here's one thing you didn't consider when advocating this. Plain clothes police officers. A lot of them walk around, they don't take their gun off when they're playing clothes. They open, most of them open carry. Uh, when I, the, reason I, the reason I leave my house with my gun is because I'm so used to it, if I don't walk out, I feel off balance. So when there's a cop who constantly carries a gun on duty, he's going to carry it off duty also because, well, that's just in his nature, they do that. So imagine the world of hurt you're going to be in if you do accidentally pepper spray a plainclothes officer and attempt to take their gun. One, you just you just committed assault, and two, it was against a police officer. You never you didn't take this into account when you decided to do this bullshit. And that's all I have on that one. I mean, seriously, how goddamn stupid are you? And this group is telling people to continue to call the cops. And what person said they did, and the cops laughed at him and said, call them again. No, you do not abuse the 911 system. It's for emergencies, not because your ass is paranoid because you see somebody with a goddamn gun. It, it just annoys the hell out of me that you're advocating violence and supposedly you're against it. You're not. You're just against guns, period, and won't do anything to put gun owners in harm. No well, harm's way, I guess. When it comes with the same people calling when they're on a video game and lying just to get their opponent and killed by the police. People have been arrested for this since then for a very long time. You need to stop advocating for violence and hopefully your group gets taken down because it's a group advocating to attack gun owners. And that is your fault, not theirs. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but we'll warn you. You'll have to buy it from our cold dead hands. We want the freedom that God gave us. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you gotta come through us and take it. One shot at a time.